Thank you all for coming out tonight. Um, as Stan mentioned, I am a, a member of the House of Delegates from the 48th District, which includes much of North Arlington, uh, as well as Crystal City, and as of redistricting a few years ago, about 20,000 people up in McLean. Uh, down in Richmond, I serve on the Committees on Appropriations, Privileges and Elections, and Transportation, as well as several uh, uh, legislative study commissions. Uh, over on the table there, uh, I've given a piece of my literature out to some of you, but I hope the rest of you uh, will, will have a chance to, uh, to look at it and take it home with you. Uh, it, first of all, summarizes some of the most important priorities that, I, that I've worked on uh, in my time as a delegate, and it also has contact information if there is any matter involving state government uh, that my office can be helpful to you with. So I, I hope you'll take advantage of it, and I, and I look forward to, uh, to hearing your views on legislative issues and bills and so on. Um, what I'd like to do is just take a couple of minutes to uh, uh, recap uh, the past session of the House of Delegates and the General Assembly and to say what I, what I see coming up uh, in terms of challenges in the coming years. Um, we've made some, some significant progress uh, down in Richmond over the past couple of years. The most important bill that we passed, as far as I'm concerned, was the bipartisan omnibus transportation bill that we passed this session. Uh, it's the first time in probably 25 years that we've done anything significant uh, to, to address our transportation problems. And while the, uh, the state has grown economically and in population, we've been literally kicking the can down the road during that time. But this year, we were able to come, come together on a bipartisan basis and provide real funding, uh, both for statewide transportation needs and, very importantly, for regional transportation needs here in Northern Virginia, which is one of the most impacted areas of the state in terms of transportation. Uh, the bill has several significant features. I'll, I'll mention a few of them. One of them is that it provides $300 million to help us complete rail to Dulles, through Tysons out to Dulles and then to Loudoun County. This is one of the most important economic corridors in Northern Virginia, and it's very important that we do all that we can to, to, uh, to ensure its vitality and its, and its continued growth. Um, another feature of the bill is that it will free up money for local governments to, uh, to undertake various projects throughout, the, uh, throughout their regions. Um, uh, uh, Jay Fassett, who is uh, on uh, regional transportation uh, boards, can, can address these more fully, but, but that's one of the most important components of it. Um, not everything in the bill uh, uh, is to everyone's liking. It's a consensus piece. And, uh, and uh, so there are features of it that I wouldn't have gone along with, but everybody had to give in this negotiation, and the end result, I think, will benefit the Commonwealth, both its people and its economy, for a number of years. Um, another important bill that we passed this year was the biennial budget. Uh, we're on a two-year budget cycle, and, uh, and this year was the second year of the cycle. The budget that we passed has, uh, again, many significant features. Uh, one of them is important to Northern Virginia families because it will add 1,700 undergraduate seats at four of our great uh, public colleges and universities, Tech, UVA, James Madison, and William & Mary. It also will provide um, money for uh, what's called cost of competing, which goes to Northern Virginia school districts, including Arlington's, uh, to, uh, to adjust for the fact that our cost of living in this area, as well as our salary scales, are higher. So it restores $9.5 million uh, to that feature. A third one that I'll mention is that it establishes a cybersecurity accelerator uh, out at the uh, uh, Conference for uh, Internet Innovative Technology out near uh, Dulles Airport. What this will do will be to help entrepreneurs in the cybersecurity field and it's very important to us because it will enable us to break into the private sector to diversify our economy up here to lessen our reliance on a very unreliable federal government. I think that's important for our future growth as well. 
So I'll look forward to taking your questions in a few minutes. And once again, I ask for your vote on Tuesday, November 5th.